My name is Dan English. I'm a Magenic Senior BI Consultant on the Minneapolis office. Today we're going to be taking a look at SQL Server 2008 Data Profiling Task. This is a new task which is part of Integration Services. This demonstration is going to be using the February 2008 CTP of SQL Server. The new Data Profiling Task allows you to perform a quick analysis of a table to evaluate the completeness and quality of the data within it. You can take a look at the null ratio of columns, the data within the columns. You can look at column statistics, value distributions, length distributions, patterns, regular expressions of the data within it. Determine a primary key and look at dependencies of data. The data profiling task requires an ADO.NET connection manager and it currently only works with SQL Server 2000 or later versions. This does not work with third-party or file-based data sources. Now within the data profile task UI, you cannot currently create a connection manager, so you have to create that outside here, which I've already done, going to the local instance of SQL Server to the AdventureWorks database. You can create the file connection manager for the output destination of the results of the data profiling task, but I've already gone ahead and created this through a file connection manager. I'm just going to output it to an XML document at the root of the C drive. The two different destination types be a file output, or you can send the output to a variable if needed. And you could look at it within the SSIS package and go ahead and analyze that object. We're going to put it XML document, and since I already have data in that, I'm going to overwrite the file. Now the fastest way to get a profile on data is to use the Quick Profile option. And within here I select my Connection Manager, and the table that I want to evaluate. Currently you can only select one table or view through the Quick Profile option. In the newer or next release, you're going to be able to have an option where you can select all the tables. Now, there isn't any word yet if you'll be able to select a subset of the tables. That hasn't been determined yet, but it would only make sense. Here, by default, are all the tasks that are set up, doing a null ratio analysis, column statistics, value distributions, looking at mins and max, length distributions. I can look at the column patterns. And it'll go ahead and evaluate and see if there's a candidate for a primary key. And I can tell how many columns I want it to evaluate. And if we want to look at functional dependency, which would mean that if we want to determine a couple columns of data are dependent on each other, like say a state code uh, would be dependent with the country code. We're not going to do that through the quick profile here, but we will set one up. Once you do that, all the results of that quick profile task are output to this profile request. So here's my null ratio that was set up for the employee table, and it's selecting all the columns. If I wanted to, I could just select a few of them. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a functional dependency. You can see what that looks like. And take a look at state and country. Once that's done, I can go ahead and run this task. And it's done. Now you can use the Data Profile Viewer application to view the output of the XML task. And that currently there is no way to get at it through the IDE here. And there's no shortcut in the Start menu. But if you just type in Data Profile Viewer, it'll pop up. Otherwise, it is located in the bin direct 
directory under the DTS folder. And here's data profile viewer. Once you have this open, select our output file. Now we can drill down in to the results. Here's my primary key analysis. Let's tell me that employee ID is a good candidate for a primary key, which is what we would expect. Then it gives me the other combinations that I could use as keys too. And now we can go and look at all the columns, see what came up. If we look at birth date, none of the columns contain null data. Look at the statistics, you can see the min and max values, the mean and standard deviation. And if we look at the value distribution, see that there's 279 distinct values. And let's see if we have any people at the same birth dates, and yes we do. And now we can actually double click on these and we can look at those exact records within our source. So this would be a good candidate so if we could see if there's any bad data within here, which currently there is not because all the data is as we would expect. Let's say if there's any data you know, in the 1600s or 1800s, we could actually come in here, double click on those records and see which ones contain the bad data and go back and fix them in the source. And if we look at gender, see the column length distribution. So we can see that it's a one is min and one is max. So by that we would assume that everything is either an M or an F. There's no nulls. And there's the pattern. We do see that it's an M or an F. See the distribution here, the males and females. And if we look at job title, we can kind of look at what the pattern is there. We can see some regular expressions being used here. And we can double click on one of these and see the results. That's a quick way to profile some data that we've never looked at without having to go in and write some complex T-SQL to go in and evaluate all this information for us. Now the other table that we evaluated was for functional dependency here was the contact information. And we can see that there is definitely a dependency here between the state and the country code. Now some of the other new features that are going to be coming out this product will be a button within the task to actually create the new ADO.NET Connection Manager. Uh, there's going to be an option to go in here and set up all the tables for the quick profile if needed. And there's also going to display the progress events to show task completion percentage. Currently that is not part of the progress events. That is all I have for the data profiling task. I hope you enjoyed the overview of the new data profiling task in SQL Server 2008, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the screencast.